Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube and everybody. Welcome to this installment of Overcoming Creativity Blocks, brought to you by Paradigm Shift and blah, blah, blah. Um, and these cans of food behind me, according to the government, mean I'm a prepper terrorist. And this is my keyboard and mouse. But that said, I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to let these ladies do their thing, and I'm going to um, shut the hell up. So um, if I don't mute myself, everybody's going to echo like crazy, but at least all this works now. So take it away. I'm shutting up. Awesome. Hey, Happy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. <laughs> are you in your room? Let me see. Is it that room in the picture? No, this is a different room. A different I'm one? A, I'm at a different house right now. So ah. I'm, I'm a little quiet because ah. uh, it's a, still a beautiful room, though. Yeah. The colors look similar in the back, so I thought it might this, be. My room's orange. This room is green. Oh, you know, it's the brightness. Yeah. <laughs> the bright colors. <laughs> yeah. There's I get a, a ton of bright place. colors here in Costa Rica. It's just everything is wow. brightly colored, and I love it. <laughs> I would so love to see that. That would be awesome. How do you totally. just come down? Come down? I know, right? That's I what I'm talking have about. I have no idea how long I'm staying here. I feel like it's going to be for quite a bit longer. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. Because it really just jives with my heart here. I really, really just love it. <laughs> oh, you might have to move there. <laughs> and I'm falling in love with someone, too. I'm falling in love with someone, too. So this, Sweet. Is, this is really fun. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's totally, hey, that's really cool. You move through all of the other and get that out of the way, and then your heart right? just is able to accept it. Exactly. <laughs> that's awesome. And it kind of just, like, landed in my lap. And, you know, this Sweet. person is incredible. So... Oh, <sighs> perfect. <laughs> yeah, so that's been taking up a lot of my bandwidth. A lot of my morning pages have been about him. <laughs> that's awesome. Totally awesome. Like, so funny. Yeah. But I, I didn't see you last week, so uh, tell me what's new. Your hair is new. What's new? <laughs> it's yeah, so cute. Your hair is new. <laughs> Hi, baby cheeks. Baby walked in. So, what you doing, little one? Hold on one second. I'm going to mute me, myself for a minute. All right. Let's see. Okay. Got it, Betty. I got it for you. Oh, thank you, honey. Well, I'm trying to find all my... Oh, I filled up an entire morning page book, so I've started a new one, which is awesome. <laughs> That was cool. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I have to go buy a new one, too, because uh, I'm towards the end of mine. It's exciting. When you get towards the end, you got three pages left. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> so let's see. It's been a bit, huh? So let's see. I've got a lot of stuff going on here. So, so mostly. We're, we're going to be covering, like, two weeks tonight. Yeah. So. I'm trying to figure out where my... The first week we missed is out. There's so five. much here. Week five, week five, week five. Task. Following, exploring. Okay, that's this week. Okay. Okay, week five. Right here. All right. So, yeah, a lot of awesomeness has happened. All of a sudden, I just want to paint everything. <laughs> I just want to draw. I want to draw and paint, and I've got my little station set up right here where I'm just. I got my paints out and um, drawing pencils and just anything that inspires me, just right here. So it's been like, wow, where did that even come from? But I know where it came from. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It is really awesome. I've just been wanting to do nothing else besides this, so it's really cool. And. So I've moved to a lot of new places in my thoughts about, you know, obviously about art and doing, you know, just having fun with it, really. It doesn't even matter what it looks like. I'm just like, I'm having fun no matter what. So that's what matters. And so I came to a whole new, like, all that after the last talk we had, mm -hmm. um, I felt like I was so relieved. And after that, it was like I was just able to, like, I don't know, so that it just, my thoughts and my feelings just kind of switched over to it, like a 
more of a refreshed feeling place, you know, like oh. a, a ready to restart and, you know, feel good. And, and so it's been going up and up and up since then. And it's just like, wow, this is really good. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, me too. That's so awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I was working because on this were, last time. I mean, Dave might tell you that you took a paradigm shit. <laughs> Speaking of Dave telling things, um, <laughs> Rochelle is watching now, uh -huh, so uh -huh. I just wanted to give her a, a shout out, seeing as she's watching now, and all the food I have behind me, because apparently I'm a partner <laughs> terrorist, and the the keyboard and, and mouse for my big 42-inch uh, screen TV, and everybody say hi to Rochelle, she's watching. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> So I will uh, go back to shutting up now, unless I'm needed. Am I needed? Nope. Nope. You're good, okay. You're good, Dave. I'm going back you know, into the zero point field. Back into the abyss. <laughs> into the abyss. Chapter 5. Oh. So tell me. Um, I'm really actually quite curious, because last time we met, it was really intense, like you were in a really dark place. Yeah. So, so what is it What is it about um, the meeting last time that really kind of shifted things? Were you able to sort of accept your negativity? Or were you able to accept, like, that part of you? Or how, how, did, how did that unfold for you? Wow, it feels like it was so long ago. <laughs> It's two um, weeks, yeah. I know, yeah, it just feels like, wow, I, I, you know, so much has happened in my thoughts that I, you know, it's kind of like hard to go back that far. Um, mm -hmm. I guess mainly just getting the relief from that and then, um, I don't know, it just immediately, there was a shift. I could feel it like that night. Um, I just sat on the computer and like what I was looking at began to change you know like as things started coming to me that felt good that were to I guess to lift me back up and um, mm -hmm. and so and I couldn't I couldn't get myself to watch those for weeks I was trying to watch those and I was like I don't want to watch that stuff I don't want to I don't want to feel good <laughs> it was like no I don't I don't want to do that so um, mm -hmm. I just kept going in that, that direction, and then once I was able to talk to you guys, and then I just, like, re it was just such a relief, you know, just a release of, of I think, of all the negative negative feelings that I was having and everything that was building up and um, just storing itself there, and then once we did that, it was just like, it was like, poof, <laughs> and it's just everything shifted. By the next day, I was like, wow, I feel completely different, like completely. So it's it's been wonderful. Like every day gets better and better and better. And it's you can feel the realness of it. It's not like, you know, a happy sticker or anything. It's like you feel the yeah. realness of it. So it's fantastic. <laughs> this is so It's cool. really good. Really good. So, yeah. Right. Because you have this like this childlike sensibility about you right now that's you know it's not it's not fiend. I can see that it's been uncovered. Yes, like, it like, feels like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean just even the way that you're wearing your hair right now to the to the smile on your face. Oh, yeah. Everything about you right now, you're just it's so obvious. It I mean, feels to, alive. Like, two weeks ago, you know. It's yeah. Alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I, I mean, I'm like super happy about that, you know, how that, because I, I could feel it, you know, it was all just so bottled up and then, <laughs> phew, <laughs> like the champagne. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, so yeah, how does it feel to not be super happy? Hard. No pun intended, ha ha. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. He said he's super happy, no pun intended. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but what were you saying? Um, I was just saying that, um, how does it feel to not, like, judge your, your creative artwork right now? Wow. It feels like a brand new world, really, because I've not been in that place ever where I'm not judging it. It's, mm -hmm. like, everything I've always judged. And this last one that I did, like, it just, I just sat down and I was like... I turned on this. What happened was I went to look for love quotes on um, on Pinterest, mm -hmm. and I found something, and I thought, those words sound so familiar. I don't know why I know them. And then um, 
I looked up what the words were, and it actually was a chorus to a song. I was like, oh, that's cool, because it felt good when I was reading it. But the words were real dull, and I was like, I need to do something to spice it up, to make it prettier. Um, for, for, so when I look at it, I like it. And so I sat down, and I, and I found the song that it went to, and I played the song for eight hours straight. I just sat and painted <laughs> and had no thought whatsoever of, oh, this don't look good, this is wrong, or nothing. It was just complete flow, and it was just so good. It was so good. Even when I got done, I was like, oh, I really like that. I really like it. It wasn't like, uh, who you know, who's not going to like it? Somebody's not going to like it. It just it didn't matter because I sat there and I enjoyed it so much. And I was like, wow. <laughs> For eight hours, I didn't even do anything. I just, of course, it was at night, so nobody was awake but me. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I had full reign of just playing, really. You know, just allowing myself to play for a while. And so here, I'll show you what I did. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, those look really cool. So it was a, you a, it. yeah, it was really fun. All these colors, they were brand new. I just got these. <laughs> uh, I've had such a, a fun week with my little artist going and getting paints and um, brushes and just crayons and just <laughs> all kinds of stuff, you know, just having a lot of fun. So I've had like an artist date every day. <laughs> That's awesome. And, yeah, I'm totally enjoying it. Totally in love. Yeah, exactly. Totally in love. Totally in love. And I'm like, never stop. <laughs> Just keep going. So well, now you know how to move through those challenges when they come up. Because I mean, yeah. life's challenges do come up, but you don't have to disown yourself in the process. Yeah. So, I mean, exactly. Because this process of coming back home to yourself mm -hmm. is really like where life is lived from. And when you dissociate, which is really what happens when we separate from our creative self, when we separate from our true identity, mm -hmm. there's this, this pain that we live. And it, and we just feel kind of just not all there. Yeah. You know? And so Definitely. that's I think that's really what I'm seeing is that you're more there. And yeah. You're, and you're more you. <laughs> Like, yeah. there's not, like, a, a thinly veiled mask of, you know, just being happy to put on the face. Mm -hmm. You know, you moved through a catharsis, and now yeah. this is truth. This is authenticness coming through. Oh, and it feels so good. It just feels so good. It feels like it just a, like I said, a whole new world, a whole new uh, breath of fresh air, you know. And it's just been going for the last two weeks. And I'm like, yeah, you know, just keep going. <laughs> I'm going to ride the ride. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Just fun. And to embrace, too, you know, the the, the lows again, you know, because you saw that that's how you mm -hmm. transformed it was by embracing it. Yeah. You know, I watched so many videos on that, and I didn't even look them up, but that's what came to me was the embracing of that. And it was like, Wow, this is all coming together so perfectly. I, it's just so good mm -hmm. because um, allowing myself to go through that and then be okay with it and blossom from it. You know, there was a something to learn from that. You know, vantage point that I was in. So, yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Then, that's so then, awesome. Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> no, so, I'm telling you. <laughs> So were you able to work through, um, stay on course of the week five and week six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did them. It just didn't feel like um, I had any lackful feelings or anything, you know. So some of the things I didn't, uh, like one of the, where was it? One exercise. Yeah, like I kind of changed up some of the, the <laughs> The Virtue Trap quiz, I just kind of changed up some of the wording so that it felt good um, when I said it because I wasn't in that place anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like I feel guilty. I was like, man, I just feel so good. <laughs> I felt guilty last week, this week, no. <laughs> so mm -hmm. some things I didn't, I didn't have to, you know, ponder on too long because I was already in, I'd already got to that place that this was trying mm -hmm. to get me to. So, mm -hmm. um so yeah, I, I did the 
Let me see. It just seemed like it went really fast. Like I read it and I did all of them so fast because I was just feeling good, you know. And so some of the things I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have to really work through too much to get there. Mm -hmm. so it's like good problems to have. Yeah, I'm telling I'm, you. I'm, I'm curious about like some of the things that you'd like to do, you know, like um, the things that you would like to try if it weren't too crazy, you know. Yeah, let me see which one was that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm really interested in this part just for all of the women that participate in this group uh, because I think that that is really how we can start really discerning which direction we want to take our lives in is by really yeah. paying attention to those little voices that are telling us, you know, the things that we think might be fun or the things that we might enjoy trying, you know. Like the first time I went through this, you know, belly dancing really popped out at me. And I took a belly dance mm -hmm. class, and I really reignited my 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 passion. I really uh, like reconnected to myself, and wow. to my femininity, and to my sensuality. And then from there, I was open to you know Ooh, that going to Hawaii, you know, and just I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> and then within ten days, I was on a plane and I was gone. Wow. I, and, and I manifested the money for the plane ticket in like 24 hours, and it was just like I was out. That's I was awesome. gone. That's awesome. So, so really, listening to these little voices, they may not be the end mm -hmm. destination, but they could be really integral steps on your path. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, and really for the sheer joy of doing those things, yeah. you know, just getting out and do them because then the next thing comes up and then the next thing just to keep mm -hmm. going and enjoying. So mine weren't, I, I, I think, you know, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, I should go back and redo these <laughs> because they're not nothing that I haven't done. I would love to go belly dancing. That would be awesome. That would be totally awesome. And I didn't write that down. So um, so this is the list of ten things you would love to do that are not that you're not allowed to do. Is that the one that you're talking about? Um, also on the other page, you see the like what would I try if it weren't too crazy? Or, you know, what would I try if I weren't too selfish, you know? All of I mean Okay, let me go to bed. Anything and everything. Just the things that really pop out at you. I'm trying to find where you're talking about. I don't see it. Page 101. 102. Oh, okay. This. Oh, are you talking about the self destructive part? Yes. Okay. It's been a, a bit since I looked at this one. <laughs> Um, I can find it. One reason. Gosh, I can't even read my own handwriting to find where this is at. <laughs> <laughs> I get so excited, I go really fast when I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, this is fun. Um, it's hey, not fun. What? Speaking of um, self-destructive parts. Um, one thing that I would appreciate it if you could go into in, in whatever way you want is basically um, just any aspect of like the female self-worth and the self-sabotage stuff and the illusions that um, you know females especially create uh, for themselves. I'm kind of asking for you know for Rochelle's benefit because that's one of the things that she struggles with. And um, I'd like her to know that she's, you know, not alone. You know, I, I think it'd be helpful for her to hear it from other women. Like the... Like the whoa. whoa. <laughs> I hear myself. Um, yeah. It can't be avoided until I get regular headphones. Um, that's why when I'm not talking, I'm muted. Uh, okay. But you get what I'm saying, right? I mean, you've discussed that kind of stuff in the other webinars in the past. Uh, uh, yeah. I can't think of You know, um, self um, Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making a request, and if Dave, my Dave. request is cool with you, I'm going to shut up. 
kind of weird. Okay, Dave, Dave, we'll get into it when it, the timing's right. This is kind of a bit of an interruption. I was asking Happy one thing, and like, so can you not interject too much, please? Thank you. Okay, let me find. It's here. I just gotta find it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through each each step here. Okay, am I on the wrong? No, it's page 101. Oh. Maybe I wrote too much because this stuff isn't adding up on this one side. As I play more. Okay, well then. Where is about, this at? <laughs> how about you oh, just tell me something. like things now in the present tense, as if. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I really want to find this <laughs> because I did it already, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out which one this is. Um, 10 things you would love to do but are not allowed to do. That's the only thing I'm finding there. One reason I get sad is sabotage myself. Huh. Okay, well, I'm just going to read you this because I can't find what you're, which one you're okay. referring to. It's more or less book. the same kind of thing. Well, this one says, I wish I had a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I wish I could publish my book, so I'm not, I'm not thinking that's the right spot. Okay, so this particular spot is going dancing, like going out to like a club and dancing. Um, ten, this is the ten things I would love to do but really don't do ever. Because um, you're like, you don't allow yourself to? Yeah, because I don't. <laughs> Uh -uh. I don't allow myself even like the second one is go to the marina every day and like meditate and you know just sit there and enjoy the scenery enjoy where I'm at and I would love to do that I just don't do it I don't even know why I just don't do it I just don't get up and go do it um, and let's see working out and yoga I love yoga don't do it every day and I would love to do it every day um, let's see. I don't think this is what you're asking for, though, because these are just, like, things that I want to do. <laughs> yeah, no, um, but that is what I said. Ten things you love and would love to do but are not allowed to do. Let's so, see. let's see. Um, number six. Oh, take lots of pictures. Um, <laughs> with my badass Canon camera. <laughs> Yeah, so that's another thing, going and buying a Canon camera, you know. I had one, and I sold it because it just wasn't up to my standards. It was just, it was too compact, and I had the vision of the latest latest Canon that came out, and nothing else will do. So mm -hmm. when I get seven, 8000 saved up, <laughs> I'm going to go buy that camera. So that's on this list, taking pictures with that camera. Um, and Abe Cruz, of course, is number seven. Um, Going to the rainforest, I would so love to go to the rainforest and take lots of pictures. That's um, really awesome. I would yeah. so, that's more like top of the list, would love to do that. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, there's so much in there. Um, explore a cave, I would love to do that. Um, you know, and the last thing I have here, so funny. It says, have fun and experiment with clothes again. Learn to love clothes again. <laughs> because I have this thing where I don't own many clothes because I'm very picky about them over the years. Um, after so many people saying, oh, that don't, that's ugly. That don't look good. You shouldn't wear that. Then I just kind of was like, I don't want to wear nothing. I just want to look like an old grandma. <laughs> Oh gosh! Yeah. So yeah, I've totally gone there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've been there. Well, I feel the shift. I feel like I'm ready to go to the store and just buy all these hot, bright colors. You know, like pinks and yellows and fluorescent greens. 
mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because that's what I used to wear, just the brightest 80s colors you can imagine. So, and I think that's why these colors, when I picked up this set of paints, mm-hmm. they just popped out to me because they were so bright. And that's really what I'm feeling is like the brightness of everything. Mm-hmm. And so, I'll start with the painting and put them on there, and then I'll <laughs> allow it to come to me that way. Well, you know, so. I mean, that's a totally natural process that happens when we do this, because as creative people, we we tend to like to be weird, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, for instance, today I was wearing my uh, my scarf as, like, Little Red Riding Hood. Like, nice. Was, you know? Yeah, I, have, I totally I love that. I on today. Nice. Red lipstick for no reason. I was actually in bed most of today because I'm 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 nursing a, a hurt ankle and I'm also sick. Aww. So yeah. but I don't mind because I'm having fun. I, I had fun yeah. with my journal all day and I sewed. Oh. I don't. I, I forgot that I like to sew and, <laughs> and wow. I'm just sewing my dresses and stuff and awesome. I'm working on things like that and uh, you know just just spending time with myself. Yeah. And, and it was really nice. I really liked it. I was really happy I was sick today. <laughs> you know, and they say, oh, you're sick. But really, it's a time It's a time happening for a reason, you know. Oh, it's yeah. time for you to give yourself some attention. Yeah. <laughs> Remember you right. love to sew, you know. Take the positives from it. Definitely. Exactly. So that's really what I saw that's of it. That's awesome. And so, um, but like, for... For instance, you know, going through this process, it's it's a really, um, you start clearing out the ways in which you have been limiting just, even just how you show up in the world. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that was, like, particularly week six, I mean, there's a particular task here, you know, throw out or give away five ratty pieces of clothing, you know, just just naturally starting to weed out the falsity from your life, mm-hmm. and that, that's even in, our, in your clothing, too. Oh, yeah. And I started noticing, like, you know, when I started this process, I was kind of like you. I wore sweat clothes a lot of the time. I, I just kind of, like, lived in, in clothes that didn't really reflect my internal mm-hmm. state. Completely. <laughs> you know, I wore, like, a lot of oversized clothing just mm-hmm. because I was uncomfortable with my body. I was just uncomfortable with myself. And in general, I was just, I, I didn't want people to see me. Mm-hmm. And I think that more than anything, um, you know, having bright colors and uh, just loud colors and stuff like that, it, it draws attention. And when you're uncomfortable with that attention. You don't want uh, that. You don't want that. Yeah. At all. Mm-hmm. But when you start actually regaining, like, a centeredness about you, um, mm-hmm. you know, a comfort within yourself, that's really why this stuff starts coming out is because you're, like, you're feeling safe again. Yeah. And, you know, your little child wants to, and naturally wants to be shiny like a star. Uh-huh. You know, your, your little child is just so beautiful and so illustrious and she's so, uh, you know, out there. You know, I was just like you when I was a kid. I'm dressed in bright, hot <laughs> colors. Just, I loved them. Loved it. Was so cool. Yes. And then, for some reason, I thought it was really cool to wear a lot of black. And then I thought it was really mm-hmm. cool to just, like, wear really bland colors for a long time. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't want to be too out there. I did the same thing. Mm-hmm. And I did. I thought it was uncool to wear bright colors and stuff, and mm-hmm. you know, I, I had all of these these rules that I set for myself in my wardrobe, and then I realized that I was setting those rules for my creativity, and I was setting those rules for my paintings, and I was setting those wow. rules for everything that I did creatively, mm-hmm. and just for how I could express myself, and what was okay, and what was not okay, and yeah. you know, what was societally acceptable, and what was societally unacceptable, and you know, yes. just living, living in these boxes. Yeah. And so... So now, when I show up in bright, loud colors, you know, I have so many clothes that are just so loud that I accumulated since I started going through this process, and they're clothes that I absolutely love. (laughs) You know, I don't wear clothes that I don't love to wear, that I don't feel comfortable in, Um, you know, and and I went through my own weeding process, and it was really hard and really painful. Like, I ha- I held on to clothes that, you know, I had from, like, my anorexic period and, you know, thinking that 
you know, maybe maybe that will work in the future somehow. And I'm, then that's like such a toxic way of thinking, you know, hanging mm -hmm. on to things that just don't serve you anymore. Yeah. And like even to the other extreme, of having clothes like that are just so big and baggy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just, just, just things that don't represent who you are now in the present. Yeah, that's exactly. Hold on one second. I know that's kind of probably loud. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> had a had a baby moment, baby daddy moment. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. That whole that it's like I lived that exact same thing, and I actually threw out all of my clothes. <laughs> it's so funny. I didn't have anything to wear. I was I wore his night pants to the store to get another pair of night pants because I threw everything away. Um, about. I do it once a year. I'll get like I don't like any of these things these things because it's I never liked them to begin with, I think. And I was only wearing them because it's like, oh, this is acceptable by everybody else, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I got to the point where I was like, I don't want to wear anything. I don't want to wear nothing at all. I hate clothes. <laughs> yeah. And then I got to the point where this this year, the end of last year, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear pajamas all the time. I don't want to wear nothing else because <laughs> I don't like clothes. <laughs> so this is what I tried to do. Everything away, wore his night pants to the store, got one pair of pajamas, and that was it. And I wore I wash them every day, wear his pants, and, and I had this cycle going. And really that's still what I have over there, but you know, I've I've integrated a couple of things since then, just a couple, because I'm so like <laughs> but now I'm like I'm eager to go to the store and not care you know just have fun while I'm there mm -hmm. you know with all the, the stuff coming out and not I don't feel like that sense of uh, I don't know like I can't wear that people are gonna look at me this way and I don't want somebody to look at my body you know or all the, I had all these thoughts you know yeah and now it just feels like it disappeared you know it, like it melted away and that feels so good. There's such a, a sense of relief in that, you know. And I can definitely tell that it ties all in, you know, with all of this. You know, it all goes together. So, man, <laughs> it's, um, wow, I didn't, I didn't wow, <laughs> more than I expected, I think. <laughs> That's going so on beautiful. Here. Oh, yeah. You know, I just want to share one more thing on this topic and then we'll move on. But um, the... I, I discovered during this this period of time that my um, my fashion sense was very fairy like, mm -hmm. and I never okay. allowed myself to really do that, you know, to be that. I mean, <sighs> I did when I was about twelve years old. I mm -hmm. used to wear a lot of flowy skirts that kind of had in, interesting cuts and irregular like shapings yeah. to them, and you know, they were just really like dreamy clothes. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff because it me really too. helps me. It makes me feel really connected to um, my imagination and mm. you know the other realms in which my my brain likes to go. And you know, it yeah. helps me kind of materialize it in the three D here. Yes, you know, and and reminds me that it is a real reality. You know, it's a definite <laughs> reality. I mean, I see Absolutely. it all the time in my head, right? Exactly. So it, I mean, it's real. Yeah. And, and for me to be able to authentically live that and not worry about what people say or be like, oh, you're a hippie or, oh, you're this or, oh, you're yeah. that. And you know what? I stopped caring whether or not people thought I was a hipster. I stopped caring whether or not people yeah. thought I was a scenester or a whatster or a thister or a thatster. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. it doesn't matter. None of it matters. None of it. <sighs> None of it. it Self-expression is just self-expression, period. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and it gets so watered down. Like people will be like, you know, put you in these categories, and that's what that's what I think really threw me long ago was being put in all these categories. I was like, I don't want to be in a category just mm -hmm. because I'm expressing myself because I love stuff like that, like the skirts, like you're talking about, all you know, the shapes and everything. It's a beautiful way to look at it, like what you just said. It was, you know, because I stopped doing all of that because it, you know, I always felt like. Even if they weren't saying it, it felt like they were saying it. <laughs> Maybe I was just beating up on myself. Who knows? But it felt like I was being judged constantly. And when you wear black, nobody cares. You know, nobody. But, yeah, that's, that's a beautiful way to look at that, you know, <laughs> because I love that, that style and how it brings out, you know, connect. it's a connection. It really yeah. is. And for my brain to, to put that together just now, that, that feels really good. Now I'm going to go get some skirts because I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I even wanted to make some because I wasn't finding like this. I would get things and cut them up, you know, and, and do things with them. Like even the shirt I have on, I, I cut um, like a heart pattern in the back of it because I just like things so different. <laughs> I have an amazing um, artist to share with you. Her, oh, yay. her, she makes these really cool like elf fairy coats. Oh, I don't know if you've ever sweet. seen them. Who is it? Um, Cat Wise. No, she's, I don't. Know. She's on Facebook. I'm gonna totally send you a link. You're gonna oh, fall yeah, in love. Definitely. And you can you Yay. can buy her patterns and just like oh, go wow. to her store and get recycled sweaters and you can make it. Yes. You can totally awesome. make it. Awesome. If you so like to sew. Awesome. I do, and I like you. They're I completely really cool. forgot. That is so awesome. I've, I've <laughs> seen those things before, and, I, and a couple of years ago when we first got here, I seen them. I was like, "Oh man, I would love to wear that." And then, I, and immediately, mm -hmm. all my thoughts shifted to, "Oh no, you can't wear that. People can't think you look funny. People and, think you're weird." Yes, exactly. And I am weird. <laughs> so just <laughs> own so it. So funny. Girl. Just, just own, own it. it. <laughs> Just own Trueness. it. You're fine. <laughs> that was like one of the hardest things for me too, was because my older brother, for instance, he was very judgmental of me. Mm -hmm. You know, called me a hippie and all this kind of stuff. And I don't really identify with the word hippie. Yeah, me like, either. Just, I just don't. <laughs> like, I, I don't really think of myself as a hippie. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just me. Just me. You know? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And... I don't know if you're on your computer right now. I'm going to show this to you because I think you're going to totally flip. Let's see. This is awesome. Cat-wise. Wow, you're just He's like shining right now chat. where you're at. You're just like glowing and shining. <laughs> it's like very beautiful. <laughs> like your Thank eyes are you. lit up. It's pretty. I see it in you too. This is what happens <laughs> when we come back to ourselves. Oh, I tell you. I love it. Okay, cat wise. Yeah, I posted it in the group, and you can see. Like, oh wow! Look at that house. That's her house. She painted. No way! That's oh her house that she goodness. lives in. That is totally that cool? awesome! Oh my look gosh! At these coats. Wow! And she makes her entire living off of these coats. You know what? I'm of course she does. You. Of course she's. Oh, I love these colors in that picture yeah, right Etsy there. Etsy shop. Oh, thank you so much. I am I loving just want this. You to see what is possible. What is possible out there? And you can really and be though, yourself though. to the fullest. Oh, I love this. You know, and I've always loved those those glove things that I'm seeing. I don't oh, know what they're called. Those. Yes, I don't. And I've always loved them. And I hold myself back. I'm like, no. You got to be a certain person, per certain genre of person to wear those kinds of things. You know, you'll be called no, this or called no. that. And I just think they're so no. awesome. And I've never That's owned a pair. <laughs> yeah, go to her photos and you can see That's all what of the different stuff. Wow. Oh gosh, they're so There's cool. so much here. Oh my gosh, I love this. You are definitely are right. Just... I love this. <laughs> I know, because it feels good, right? It certainly feels good. I love wearing good. clothes that make me feel good. Yes, exactly. I don't care if they look good. I just want them to feel good. To feel good. That is what it's all about. And <laughs> that's why I think I kept throwing everything out. I was like, that don't feel good. That don't feel good. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't found anything. I've different. been these there. Awesome. I love totally. these. These are super awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I'm yeah. going to... 
You're welcome. Okay. And at her Etsy shop, she sells her patterns. I think they're like nine bucks. They're really cheap. Etsy shop. And you can just like, um, yeah, you can just buy this sweater pattern. And if you know how to sew, so you know, cool. I mean, there are people that just make them, and you can make it custom to you, like with the fabrics and the designs that you yeah. like. Oh man, you know? that is too cool. <laughs> that is too cool. I'm I'm in love with this. Upcycled sweater. Dude, these are so colorful. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. Yeah. You'll be a new happy by the end of this 12 weeks. You I'm already telling are. you. I'm so excited. I can feel it. You know when you're on the cusp and you feel like yeah. you're exploding? That's you're what I feel exploding. like. <laughs> I can see it. Yes. <laughs> I feel like that. It's just so good. It's awesome. It is. And I can't wait to order those, anything from there. Oh, my gosh. There's just so much. Look. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks like a fairy. Oh, I see. So, yes, I'm going to have so much fun. It's a rainbow. Very cool. Something new. I love it. Something new. It's like I when you put it. in clothes like that, I mean, it is an expression mm. of abundance. It's an, ex it's an expression of luxury. And luxury doesn't yeah. have to be like what we're bought and sold. I mean, what we're, what we're told needs to be luxurious. I mean, yes. luxurious comes in, you know, the colors in your hair, the, the fact that yeah. I'm wearing red lipstick. Yes. The fact that, the fact that exactly. you know, we're just doing things that make us feel luxurious. That's you know, so even wearing one so of these cool. coats would be like that. Exactly. You know? you know, the thing is I grew up here and oh you gotta wear a Tommy Hill figure or this and that and I'm like, ugh, I don't even like that stuff. You know, everybody and their mother is wearing that and I don't want to wear Ralph Lauren or no. Tommy Hill figure. It's just like man. I know, but growing up that's what I was believing. I was, you gotta wear the I was name brand. That stuff too. <laughs> I was taught that stuff too. How about I just wear Katarina? Oh so man, not, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. I'll exactly. just wear Katarina. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> I like that. Because yeah. when you really start doing stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's when you start finding your own voice and you can start creating from that place oh, yeah. of, you know, wearing your own energy. You know? Yeah, that is that is so true. I'm, hold on, i got to write that down. <laughs> because I like what you just said. Energy. You know, it's, it's so true because, like, even with my makeup, like, I started... One day I was looking in the mirror and I said, okay, I'm tired of just making these lines across my eyes and doing my same makeup that I always do. Let's get, let's do something fun. And so I just sat there and all of a sudden I heard this voice, this little voice say, just draw lines, just draw lines up and down. I was like, okay, I'll try it. And when I got done, I was like, oh my God, I love it. Wait, <laughs> and is that so, on your eyes right now? Yeah, I don't know if can you can see, see it. Can you see it at all? Oh, that's so cool. So I draw, like, these little, and, you know, and some people are like, what the world? And I'm like, it's fun. I love it. You know, if, if for anything else, I do it for me. When I get up and I get to play and draw these lines and then color it with this blue sparkly, like, tattoo makeup thing I have. You know, I'm not, like, real big on makeup, but I'm big on, like, my eyes, and that's it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> when I get to do that, it's just so much fun, you know? And my love, he was like, you're spending, like, an hour in front of the mirror. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> so, you know, even just that, just, you know, allowing myself to express that and not not stop and say, wait, everybody else is not going to like it. Because that's uh -huh. what I would do. I would immediately put up this block, and now I just, like, I don't feel that. I just feel free, you know, and it just keep feeling more free every day. <laughs> and you know the funny thing is, wow. is that the more free that you're feeling and in tandem with what you're doing, mm -hmm. more people are actually going to like it because they see you expressing your freedom, and that's attractive. You know, that's so true. And, and because you're, like you said, owning it, you're like really mm -hmm. feeling it. And that makes such a difference, you know. Mm -hmm. And I can feel that. I had a few people that I didn't expect to say, oh, that looks really good. And I was like kind of shocked. And so, you know, even though I'm like, oh, I can't care what other people think, that felt good, <laughs> you know. Yeah, Just to be like, yeah. oh, yeah, well, I like it. <laughs> but, it's yeah. encouragement. 
It is, yeah. How can you feel more confident moving forward because you realize yeah. that everybody's not going to be like, oh, that's so ugly. Yeah. Those people don't even really exist. I yeah. never really <laughs> encountered them. They just live in my head because of my... movies that I watched when I was growing up. Yep, yep, yep. It's so the mean girls being like, the mean Ew. girls. Yeah. Uh, you know, and what's funny yeah. is you don't attract those people to you when you're not on that vibration. So no, <laughs> so knowing what you know, that. yeah, yeah. It, it feels good <laughs> to come come back into that like really full feeling, like even more than I ever have before. Just feeling that fullness, you know, and knowing, yeah, yeah you create that. You know, mm -hmm. you can have fun and attract those people to you. That's how it works. So. Yeah, yeah I, I feel I feel so alive. <laughs> it's a great way to put it. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, ah. all these colors I'm putting everywhere. So let's see. Um, well, I think I had a question for you, but now I think I might have solved it. If I can find it. Because, and it was like so long ago now that, let me see if I can find it real quick. Huh. Um, I, I worked through it. That's what I did because I was having an issue with, and I don't know if I'm in the wrong week here. Let me see. A creative block. Um, okay, now it's still this week here. Um, my favorite creative block. I was having an issue with that because I didn't quite know what it meant. I didn't know if it meant like. Uh, I didn't know what it meant. I'll put it that way. So I just kind of sat and I was like. If it's a creative block, why would it be my favorite one? And then I realized it's probably um, like sitting down and doing nothing instead of, you know, like sitting in front of a TV or something, which I don't ever do. And so I was wondering if that's maybe what it was talking about. Because I think I was it's more stuck. so like, for me, when I interpreted that, I'm, I saw it more as like, what is my favorite excuse? What is my favorite, like, what is it that I do a lot of that um, helps keep me stuck because I'm getting some sort of payoff from being stuck? Oh, okay. That's you know a different I mean? way to... Mm-hmm. So what nice. is my favorite creative block? Um, for me, it was always telling myself that I didn't have enough time. Ah, okay. And... And in that way, I could justify why I wasn't where I was wanting to be at with my artwork because I was too busy and I never had enough time and blah, 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 blah. And then when I changed that conversation in my head and mm. realized that actually, no, um, you know, and Dave really helped me see this, was I was telling myself that I didn't really have enough time, but I was spending mm. all of my time in self-victimization and in defeat and feeling like, um, you know, I, I was kind of running in circles and my own tail. Dad, mm -hmm. Dad did yeah. you get me anything? Go, go back in there. What is it? What's Sorry. It? It's, just... it's okay. Can you still hear me, though? Nod your head yes or no? Okay, cool. So <laughs> the thing that I was doing, though, is that uh, I would waste so much time and um, that I, st I stayed stuck in that for probably two years. And uh, are you busy? Oh, you're good? Okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that was like the payoff was I, I got to feel all victimized and uh, feel all like I uh, I can't tell whether or not you're I'm good. I'm good. Not. I am. <laughs> they went in there. Yeah. Okay. I just got home, so he was putting some things away. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's kind of the nature of doing webinars when we're all in our own houses. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta, 
they got to come in and put stuff out. So, yeah, I'm good. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. Dave, I'm, I'm in the middle of saying something, so if you have something, can you wait a minute? He just kind of emerged out of the abyss. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but so what I was saying, though, is that um, when I stopped kind of hassling myself and being like, oh, I'm so busy all the time, blah, 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 and I really took account of, like, what it was I was spending my time doing, mm -hmm. I realized I had a lot of time, and uh, with that time, I just started doing things that I wanted to do and things that were fun to do, and I stopped kind of hassling myself about stuff. You're good. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> He's got lots of energy. Sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, <But> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting sleepy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like 8.30 for me. This is my bedtime. I, I go to bed so Whoa. early here. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. 8.30, yeah. I was, huh? I was up at like 4 a.m. this morning. <laughs> That's what time not, I got up. Not by choice. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just How come you up. got up? You just woke up? Yeah, I just was wide awake. I was yeah. working on my, my gallery website last night because I'm, I'm working on mm -hmm. um, just a website to like, actually have my artwork up on, and I think that I hadn't ever really done for myself before, and it's mm -hmm. something I've been procrastinating on. And so I decided to start tackling it. And, you know, when I stopped telling myself that I was so busy all the time, I actually found the time to do it. That's exactly so, what we were just talking about. See there? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. So I, I'm, living this, I'm living this right yeah, now. Totally and also, you know, working on my book and stuff like that, like I yeah. always like felt like I never had enough time to do it. But yeah. then I realized that, oh, my gosh, um, I'm filling up notebooks like crazy because – I'm just in flow and I'm just having fun mm -hmm. doing the stuff that I'm doing and I'm not like worried about you know whether or not other people are going to like this or whether or not it's going to be okay blah 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 blah, blah. yeah you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just doing the stuff that my heart is telling me to do what God's telling me to do what you know source and spirit is just yeah. encouraging me to do and I have mm. more than enough time when I'm in that flow. Exactly. More than enough. <laughs> it's like, what's time? <laughs> yeah. And, and that's yeah. also the cool thing that I'm seeing about living here, too, is that their concept of time is totally different. Really? And, and it feels like, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's really been helping me because um, it's been helping me break some of these cycles that I've had of, you know, always rushing to get somewhere mm -hmm. and always rushing to do things because of these, these artificial time constructs, mm -hmm. which is why sometimes, you know, this webinar comes a little bit later. Or sometimes it's not always like at the exact time mm -hmm. I always project it for, but you know, that's, and I like of, that. <laughs> it's part of Tico time. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's about being in the flow. It's about, yes. Um, really paying attention to where our energies are at and where, mm. you know, it feels right, you know. Yeah, I do, exactly. I do totally know. That's one so, of the things that I've been working on with it. Yeah. The time, you know, time is not this big thing we make it out to be. No, it's you can't really, not. You can't be creative with that crunch always over you. No, you can't. And that's the yeah. thing is you need to make time your friend. Yes, exactly. Because time is your friend, and if you're constantly saying you don't have enough of it and all mm -hmm. this kind of stuff, I mean, you're never going to be able to really accomplish the things that you want to do. No. I mean, that was a big thing that Dave taught me, too, because, you know, I always was very strict and stringent about my schedules and blah, 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 blah. I was like a dictator. And, you know, Dave, on the other hand, is like so lackadaisical and so you know, go with the flow and it drove uh -huh. me crazy I just hated it because I was just like Rah! you know yep. <laughs> but it was just something that I didn't understand and that's why I was mm -hmm. fighting against it so hard you know yeah I remember he'd want to have conversations with me like all hours of the night and I was just like no it's my bedtime I gotta go to bed I have to wake up at a certain certain time because otherwise I'm gonna get sick in the morning and I'm I, I set all these rules for myself and I'm yeah and and, and it's just blah. You know that? <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy because yeah. you know you're just like 
how the hell are you ever supposed to be in flow with anything when you're on constantly feeling like you have a monkey on your back? Yeah, exactly. You can't. <laughs> no, you it's can't. nearly impossible until you let that go. Mm. Just let it go. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. Yeah, really. That's one of my biggest things. And you know, when you're talking about a book, and I started, I had this book in my head for years already, and same thing. I'm always like, I have time to do that. And then when I do have the time, it's like, oh, I don't know. No, but it's, it's not going to even, you know, it's not going to make sense to anybody. I can't get these thoughts on paper, and it makes sense. So, and I'm still at that little, when I, well, I haven't tried it recently, over the last two weeks, but mm -hmm. <laughs> um, when I would sit down, I would write, like, forever and then all of a sudden I would get to this point and I would stop and I'd be like I don't know where to go with this I don't even know what what this is I don't know where to start where to end I don't know what to do with this <laughs> so I would, I would just mm -hmm. kind of I have so many papers like that where I start a book and it, it becomes like three four five maybe a chapter and then it gets pushed away and I, I, mm -hmm. I found notebooks just sporadically with pages like that. I'm like, I don't know what to do with this stuff. You know, what what to... What happened, baby? I stopped my dog. Hold on, i got to give him footers. <laughs> got to have some sugars. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Can you say hi to Katarina? Hi. You're <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Which toe? So adorable. This one? Doink. Doink, doink. Doink, doink. Over here? Oh, this foot. Okay. Her? All better? Doink, 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 doink. All of them? Oh, my doink. goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. All Betty? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. There you go. One thing. She can't see you. you got to get up in the camera. There you go. Oh. Oh. Gave her footers. <laughs> you so sweet. That wasn't it, was it? <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs> He's so funny. He is a yeah. ball of energy. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> That's my baby. Yeah. He keeps me going. I see that. He's very creative. He is like. He, we got him paints the other day, and I was like, don't take him out yet. Let me get everything set up. And he's like, Mom, I'm an artist. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and he's, he's opening the tops and getting it all ready. And I was like, I've got to get, you know, I've got to get it all set up. I've got to get this paper out and places to put it. And he's like, it doesn't matter if it gets on me. I'm an artist. These are my artist clothes. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and I'm like I'm that way. When I start painting, I don't care. In fact, I want it to get on me because I look at it later and think, oh, that was so much fun, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and so I'm like, I kind of I know where he's coming from. So to what yeah. and you know that helps too. Just to watch him painting and being in his flow, he doesn't care what anybody thinks about his painting. He's like, this is good, you know, mm -hmm. and he'll paint for forever and and then he'll just stop and be like okay I'm done and he just you know he feels really confident about it and I'm like wow just watching that I can feel like that is really cool I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know utilize that trait there <laughs> you know it goes right along with what I'm learning to do all these years later <laughs> and he's just like yeah it's what we do as artists <laughs> kids are naturals I'm kids telling you um, I believe that <laughs> That's the process, you know, to become more childlike. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Totally. I'm sure he's enjoying it, too. <laughs> he is. It was fun because we got to sit down and paint and color together. He wanted to paint and I wanted to color. And it was great because usually I'm like, oh, I don't have time, or i got to do this, you know, adult thing or this adult thing. And every now and then, even though I really wanted to, I mean, and then every now and then I feel like, okay, I just, I really want to bad enough that I'm good enough that I'm going to do it. <clears throat> and then the other day I was just like, I don't care what else I have to do. This is what I really want to do. <laughs> so I did that. And, you know, I, I was like, this is an artist date with a little bit of a, you know, an extra component. You know, I'll have an artist date with him, you know. So that was an extra day that I put in there. And so it was, it was so much fun just letting that pour through like that and enjoying it with you know someone else too so 
Yeah, that's fun. So let's see. I don't remember what we were talking about. Do you? <laughs> Before you came to flow, I'm just in flow with you. Oh, oh yes, we were talking about flow. Hmm. You know what? I didn't. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. This one was kind of hard for me. This um, number six, ten ways I'm mean to myself. <laughs> that was kind of hard. Was that hard for you <laughs> to do that one? Which which week? Um, I'm still in week five. I think this is week five. Okay. Oh, I know that I'm mean to myself. I, I know which ways those are. And they used to be a lot yeah. more than ten when I was when I first did this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. And, oh, yeah, and I was my biggest enemy. I know. When I started to do it, I was like, wow, really? <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was it was really hard to do this one. Um some of my examples, I mean ten ways that I memed myself. Um Sometimes I will uh, put off doing things that I know will bring me joy, like, you know, having a good conversation with someone or, you know, getting out of the house to go do something. Mm. Like, these are things that I used to do more of, of like just mm -hmm. really depriving myself um, or, you know, telling myself that I'm too busy to make artwork or to tell myself I'm too tired to make artwork <laughs> or, you know, to... Um, not sharpen my pencils. That would be something I would do, and I would kind of keep me from making my artwork. Then I'd be like, "Oh, my pencils wow. are so dull." But I just wouldn't <laughs> sharpen them, or I wouldn't buy new pens, which mm -hmm. would make my whole art experience nicer. Yeah. Or I just I would deprive my artists and like make them work with like shitty tools. Wow. And And um. Yeah, or to po postpone purchases like on supplies or something like that mm -hmm. um, because I would think oh I have more important things to spend my money on or yes. you know things like that you know that are really lackful and you, you, mm -hmm. you don't realize what it is you're doing until you realize oh wait I haven't really made any art lately yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's been months now yeah and, you know, I actually just had a conversation with my 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 newfound sweetheart about this today. That you know, like like my my notebooks are very important to me. Like mm -hmm. I don't I don't just write in anything in it. And actually, if I don't feel a connection to the mm -hmm. notebook that I'm writing in, like like this one, I put like heart stickers and stuff on it. And, yes. You know, like I yeah. I Aww. like I like that kind of stuff because it just um. It makes me feel good when I look at it, you know? Yeah. Because it just invites me to want to be there. But if it's, just a, if it's like a regular notebook, like a spiral rule notebook, yes. it reminds me of school. Yeah. And then it makes it feel like a chore, and then it's mm -hmm. not fun anymore. So, like... You know, that would be another way that I would be mean to myself was I wouldn't give myself exactly what it was that I needed mm -hmm. for it to be a good experience. Yeah. Um, you know, or... You know, things that I would do, too, is I would fill up my time with too many other people, so I would never have any time for myself. You know, like the past couple of days, I've been hanging out with people, like, all week. And no wonder I got sick, you know, so mm -hmm. I can actually have time for myself. Yeah. I mean, even though I've been hanging out with people all week, I still have been doing my art, but I haven't really had just chill out by yourself. You time. Yeah. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. So it felt really good. I mean, and it's, it's all been really positive, nurturing activities that I've been doing with other people, you know? Like, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing mm -hmm. insane. Yeah. yeah. Or draining. <laughs> yeah. But, but even so, yeah, too much it is too much. Yeah, yeah, you can't replace that you time. There's something about that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, baby. Can you go see Daddy for a minute? 
He's so cute. <laughs> Hello, Are you there? He's so handsome. <laughs> I'm gonna um can I pause one moment and take him in there um Dinner. Okay. And he doesn't like to go by himself. <laughs> so okay. one second. Oh, he's right back. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. I don't know. Things just kind of crapped out for a second. So did that disconnect the recording? Uh, no, we're still we're still That's recording. Woo! Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I just love those cat wise clothes. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited about that. Oh man. I'm gonna go to the Etsy store though. I'll be there a while. <laughs> There's so much to look at. It's I so know. Cool. But I love. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. So, is there anything else you would like to discuss, my dear? I'm looking over this. See, I have starred anything that I was going to ask you about, and I don't see any more. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm good. How are you on week six? You said you weren't having any super lackful feelings or anything like that, right? Yeah, so. Week six was <laughs> like, let me find it. I didn't really have a bunch to write down this week. No <laughs> week six, um, because I pretty much, you know, I did the clearing out a long time ago, and um, yeah, you know, the things that it's supposed to do. I, I did. I baked and I did um, the flowers. That was fun. I took pictures of those too. Um, the only thing I didn't do was the postcards. I didn't send any postcards. I should do that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to write that down real quick because that's one thing I didn't do yet. So, yeah, the acceptance and the <laughs> prosperity. I, like I said, I felt very, I feel very abundant in, in all of life, so it, that was really easy to just go through these. Only one I want to do is number five. Um, communication. Yeah, so other than that, um, man, I know exactly what you mean about the journals, though, because I have to feel connected to them. <laughs> I have to feel, I've always been that way. I've always 
wrote, and I'm a big writer. I don't even care what I'm writing. I could just be writing my name over and over again. But when I'm writing, it has to mean something to me. And um, I think what I, in my head, I'm like, I can make a journal. I can make like the cover be what I want it to be, and like out of beeswax and like all this stuff, and like put pages in it that I love to touch. Like I'm, I'm mm -hmm. real big on pages and how they feel and how the paper is. So I'm thinking that's like a route I want to take and learn more about, you know, how to make journals. Mm. And that would be so fun. Cause, and even like string. I love like string. <laughs> I don't know why. But in the, like, I glued this in there just because I love oh, it. Oh, I love those. I, I just love those. Like... Mine has one of those too. I love and that. They remind me of Bibles. Is that what you it know? is? Something about it. <laughs> like something about it. Like here, like let me show yeah. you mine. I'm gonna, I don't know if I can do my back camera. Yes, I can. So like for instance, um, I, I drew my hand while I was writing one day oh, yesterday. Awesome. So it's just like uh, Yeah. But yeah, like and mine also has like this elastic I string like, like that. this too. Yeah. Which closes it, but I have this thing and then I also have like this um this pocket for like loose pieces of paper. Oh, that is that, awesome. For like writing <laughs> and others like my business card in there. But you know, like I, I close it and then I just feel so happy when I do this. Yeah. You know, I know just like, what you mean. <laughs> and it's just, and it's just like, I just, I like it. It's, it's really, that's, that's where I marked it at. Like, that's how much mm -hmm. more I have left of it. Oh wow! But I, I love that. I love I just, it when you feel that connection to it. You know. And, and don't you just love how heavy it gets? Like after uh -huh. all of your ink is yes. in there, it's like yes. that weighs uh, something. I'm telling you, not just, not even just that. It's like. I've painted in it. I've put like I even put uh -huh. a, a flower. I pressed a flower in there one day to get the match the colors, <laughs> and then I paint. Uh -huh. I made sure it wouldn't come off. And you know, just it's just so much fun when it, it's something that I love. Like this, I picked up a while back, and I don't know why I was drawn to it. And I was like, it was one of them things where I was like, oh, I shouldn't get that. It's oh, it's like sixty dollars. I shouldn't get that. And I was like, you know what? I really, really want this journal. <laughs> and so I let I let myself get it <laughs> instead of not, you know. And I've had it for about maybe five years. Oh no, it's mm -hmm. it's been five years because I started out with the kids. <laughs> I started oh, out wow. when he was first born in here, and then I just dropped off completely for like two years. Mm -hmm. Just dropped off. So yeah, it feels so good to just fill it up and back. and ha yes, and come back and just really, you know, have fun in it. You know, even if it's stuff that's like you look at it later, like what the world is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just fun. Oh, you know? I totally agree. It is, and being connected to it means everything. And I think the, the the morning pages I had originally got just this regular spiral notebook, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> this is so boring. <laughs> so um, I've done stuff to it, but I told I was just telling him I, I can't do this normal spiral thing no more. I've got to mm -hmm. got to go and let myself be okay with going out and luxurious and, and yeah. yes. And I found one I wanted at Whole Foods yesterday. And I almost got it. And I was like, no, you should get this and this, and you you should do these things first. And now I'm like, what would you do that for? <laughs> so I think tomorrow we're going to take another trip. And Because in my head, I'm like, you could just buy all the materials for that and make it yourself. And I'm like, but I want it now. <laughs> so, so I decided I'm not going to get it. I'll just make it. But I do definitely have to go get it because the – Creativity seems to really flow when you're like in love with what you're writing in. <laughs> so I totally mm -hmm. understand all that. <laughs> For sure, but yeah, I don't have any um, any I other think, things well, going I'm, on. I'm just gonna say one more little thing to that, but um, mm -hmm. you know, like think that I think that's really like a big part of this process too is really discovering the things that you like and the things that you don't really like and to, to validate mm -hmm. those things, you know, because you're like, yes, and your no's become really much more clear. <laughs> and I think yeah. she talks about this yeah. in the book too, is like this process, you know, it really just shines a light on your identity 
because you know when we're yeah. not really connected to our creativity we we kind of just sort of go with whatever and we kind of just like mm -hmm. you know right. um, uh -oh. let our preferences slide and we used to kind of being kind of dormant and just sort of uh, mm -hmm. can you hear me I, I, I miss parts we, of we that kind of just allow ourselves to be I'll, I'll go back um, okay when we're disconnected from our creativity, we allow ourselves to sort of be complacent with whatever it is that we're given. And we're just kind of like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I guess that'll be fine. Okay. But we don't yeah. really like validate the fact that we really don't like it, you know, like clothes or journals or anything like all of this is just metaphors for, mm -hmm. you know, everything else in our life too. Yeah. And, you know, like I, I I went through this process the first time and I realized that I really hated the color of my room. And you know what? I painted it orange. Awesome. Because I love orange. <laughs> and you know what's really cool yeah. is like the room that I'm at here, um, you know, at the hostel, like over there, the private room that I have, it was orange. It you was know, and orange. I fell in love with it immediately. And I was just like, this is fate. This it's is beautiful. Meant, meant for you. <laughs> you know, that was meant for me. Yes. And, and there's just been so many things just along this journey that, you know, I see how it's just the universe's gift to me constantly. Yes. Yes. And it feels so good. Yeah. You know, I'm constantly provided for. I'm constantly taken care of. And and I'm allowed to kind of just reemerge into a new identity. Yeah. And to really like own that, and to not really, um, to not really care either way about whether or not you know certain things are a certain way. Like, like, like I can care about the things that are really matter, but there's a lot of mm -hmm. things that just. I'm just really grateful. I'm just happy for in general. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. So rebirth. Ah, oh, yes, <clears throat> definitely. And man, what a beautiful place to rebirth to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Totally awesome. I was just thinking the other day as I was looking at your pictures, I was like, Oh, I cannot wait to go there. It's just so beautiful exploring places like that. Oh man. That's stuff I dream about doing, you know, doing those things and taking pictures and I don't even have to share them with anybody, but just that the act of doing it brings me so much mm -hmm. joy. <laughs> so, For yeah. Sure. Um, you I'm know, it's, it's really funny because, like, uh, I remember that I set this intention for myself back in July that I really wanted to be in, in a tropical place again. I really wanted to go to Costa yeah. Rica. And I kind of forgot that I had set that intention. Um, and it was a very clear one, too. And, you know, I thought that I had to, you know, be really, really successful with Empower before I could go there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had some success with Empower and stuff like that. But then it was like... You know, it, it, it really wasn't my heart calling me to do yes. that stuff anymore. And so I still was able to, uh, the universe still delivered me Costa Rica in, in an <laughs> unexpected awesome. way. You know, that so like so... to not really like limit yourself based on whether or not, um, you know, you think that things are going to work out in a certain way with certain yes. income streams or certain resources yes. or et cetera, you know, just be uh -huh. open to the universe's flow and the, mm -hmm. the goods and the abundance that come. You know? you know, that's exactly where I'm at with the whole thing because I'm restarting Empower. In fact, I got completely out of Empower so I could restart right now. Mm -hmm. And and I'm just in my head thinking, where's your heart, though? What are you? And then the other part of me says, but you've got to have the money to build your castle. You've got to have all that that they've got. And I'm and in my other side of my head is saying, the universe delivers no matter what. So I've got yeah. these two things going on, and I'm like okay, am I supposed to go that way or am I supposed to go this way? I'm kind of, you know, I haven't gone, got all in and done all of that again just yet. And, you know, I'm at the point that I'm about to do that. And I'm like, wow, 
something is saying, you know, something's keeping me right here where I'm at, so where I'm just pondering the two different roads and wondering, do I really, really want to invest all my time into that? And all, like, it takes so much heart to do that. And it's yeah. it's heart that kind of goes in the direction other than who I am. So it's like, yeah. you know, I'm thinking, okay, you can utilize that stuff you learn over there to put towards what you really love, which is I make diaper cakes and I so love doing it. I mean, I'm just like in my vortex when I'm doing it. And mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, you can you can do that over there to learn how to market it. And I then I'm like a really good <laughs> resource for you and she's mostly free and stuff. I mean, um, I'm gonna send you links to her, but I actually learn more from her than I do from, you know, Empower and stuff like that. And she just oh, puts wow. out free content online. It's Marie Forleo. Oh, and awesome. <laughs> I've been watching her. I've been watching her longer than I have Empower and stuff like that. And she mm -hmm. is so much more heart-centered than yeah. <laughs> all of that. And, and it's just like, ah. Uh, I just, I love the way that this woman operates her business and her whole platform is just genius. Oh, so, I mean, nice. let me, um, yeah, cause send, that's, that's, send you that. that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm at the point where I'm like, and even my love, he's like, don't do it if you don't really want to, but don't you want to build a castle? We're both in that same, <laughs> and, and, and there's I can, there's other ways, there's other ways, yeah, there really there are is. other ways, I mean, don't get trapped up in the thinking that um, they are the only way. You I know, and I never for a while too. I know wasn't for like before we did that. I was like, the universe is abundant. Before that came in, you know, our direction. I was like, I don't even have to worry about where it's coming from. I know it's coming. And then that came, and and I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. And so he did it. And then when he stopped doing it, then I started. And I was like, you know, and I did it for, you know, a few months, and it was like, wow, <laughs> this is very, very time-consuming and everything, so, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's what, I, mainly, I just want to take the knowledge and apply it to the things we love to do. That's, that's where I'm at, yeah, too. The creativity, so. That's where I'm at, too, and that's where, yeah. where I've really been building more, is, mm -hmm. you know, and getting my, my website up, and, and to really yeah, get back awesome. to my passions, to really get back to where my heart was in the beginning. Yes, and that's exactly it. <laughs> before I got distracted by all of these other things, mm -hmm. you know, because that's where my power is, and that's where people resonate with me for, you know, like, yeah. that's the stuff that really connects people to me. Yeah, I hear you, baby. <laughs> so, one second, sorry.
I have a perfect quote for you that just showed up on Facebook for me. Oh, really? Let's yeah, that it. just totally <laughs> is a synchronicity with what we were just talking about. Oh, I love when that happens. happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> jinx, 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 jinx. <laughs> jinx, jinx. <laughs> that says, is funny. A very good career choice would be to gravitate towards those activities and to embrace those desires that harmonize with your core intentions, which are freedom and growth and joy. Make a career of living a happy life rather than trying to find work that will produce enough income that you can do things with your money that will then make you happy. When feeling happy is of a paramount importance to you and what you do for a living makes you happy, you have found the best of all combinations. Abraham. Yeah, you so got to send me that. <laughs> I got to see that. I got to have that. That's so perfect. And I know the trueness of it. And that's oh. something that I've always been very, you know, dominant about. <laughs> and all of a sudden, once I got so into that, arena <laughs> my thoughts kind of were like oh maybe this is the only way or maybe this is the lighted path yeah. but then the inside feels like I mean the people are cool but really is it what I want to do <laughs> and you know what like I as I started going more and more I mean I'd love to talk to you about this more I don't really know if I want to oh. devote a whole lot of time on this I got you yeah <laughs> but you know I, I, yeah <laughs> you know yeah yeah, I do. You feel me. I feel you. I know. I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Wink, wink, and I. Wink, girl. wink. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that. Um. So what is it that you said you make? Diaper cakes. Diaper They're cakes. Cakes. Mm hmm Diaper cakes. cakes. For cakes made out like of baby diapers. showers, mm -hmm. for baby showers and stuff. And I've um, never heard of this before. Really? Seriously? Really? You know, I hadn't either until I had a Dorsen. And um, when I was pregnant, I didn't have nothing to do. I was I lived with uh, we were living at my dad's, and I was so bored. And I was like, you know what? I just want to make something for someone that's having a baby. And so I went and bought like. $200 worth of stuff to put on a diaper cake. <laughs> and so I just started putting it together, and it was so much fun. I mean, it was just, it was love. It's like, every time I think about it, I'm like, oh, I'm like a, a little kid just like ready to play, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's something um, for the last five years, I'm like, I'm going to do that for a living. That's what I want to do. And I made, I made several of them. I've, I've probably made about 20 of them and just give them away. And they cost me anywhere from two to four hundred to make them, you know, two because two to four hundred dollars mm -hmm. to make them. Yeah, just to things? make it. Yeah, and so when I would tell people, they're like, "Oh, how much if we bought one?" I'm like, "Uh," <laughs> because I'm like, "Can you really afford it?" Because it cost me this much just to make it. So, so yeah, that this is helping me with that too. What we're doing here is helping me with that because I've always, you know, like I said, I was like, man. I, I had this block there or I want to do it for a business and then I'm like, oh, these people can't afford it. But now I'm feeling like I'm pulling to me the people that can, you know, uh -huh. because around here people were like, you paid that much just to make it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's too much. Okay. But now I feel like, you know what, <laughs> there are people with lots of money that can't afford these and they're they're just because it's just so much fun. I'll, I'd have to send you a picture of one to I would love to see a <laughs> to get an idea. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're a lot of fun for me, you know, so and that I've even seen like I've had the vision and the image of me like uh, my shop and how it's doing. It's not like a brick and mortar. It's a, an online store, but it, it's more so just about the joy. Oh my gosh, the joy you get when you give that to someone and they open it or they look at it. It's just like, it's like the best feeling ever because you could feel like the like they're just like blown away. They're just like, oh my gosh, you know, that's, they could feel the love that was put into it. And do you, you know? eat it? No, it's it's made out of diapers. It's made completely the entire. It's a. I've always made it three tiers tall. So, the bottom layer has about 150 diapers, and then it, you know, it gets to a smaller. But these might have always been big, and the ones I found on the internet, 
long time ago. They were diaper always so cakes. small. Yeah, it's a diaper cake. Diaper cake. <laughs> okay, hang on. I need to Google this. No, what you're going to see is nothing like what I make, I promise you. <laughs> I, I, I'm very, I'm very picky, I guess you would say. I'm very, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, I like particular. it a certain way. There you go. Exactly. I'm very particular about um, what I like on my diaper cakes, and I've never found one that I liked, ever. <laughs> oh, so okay. I, I've seen these. No, they don't look like that, I promise. <laughs> you promise? They're not, like, yeah. rolled-up diapers? No, they're, they're rolled up. They're just the, the, the way it's put together. I, it, like, it's... I don't know. I've always seen them made... I don't know how to say this nicely. <laughs> Crappy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or really cheaply, like dollar store stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. I want to go like get whatever I actually want to put on there, you know. And that's just preference. I know everybody has a preference, and my preference is just a little bit more. Um, spend a little bit more, you know, because for instance, the last one I made, I made for my cousin's uh, daughter. And so these was, are all like natural cloth diapers and stuff too. So the baby, so they have diapers for their baby. Well, the 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 way I was making them before was with Pampers, but then when oh. I had a doors in, I um I was using a diaper called G Diaper, and I loved these diapers. They were like no, they were all natural, and so then I started incorporating those. So yeah, but the last one I made, I my love actually helped me out with it because he made. A necklace to go with it so I wrapped it around and the necklace had um, like it was really pretty and colorful for the baby and mama and it had a like a disc shaped where you know it was sit like a disc and then another one in the middle of it and it said mama and daddy and then the little one said baby and so it just like wrapped around it so perfect so because I always include a gift for the mom and dad. So, like, in my head, I've got this whole, like, journey planned out, and I'm, you know, living this in, in my head journey of, you know, being a diaper cake maker that just is thriving and everything, and then I tell people how much it is, and they're like, <laughs> so, you know, that's just a little bit of a, a thing I'm working through, and this is really helping me with that, you know, being okay with it being what it is. <laughs> well, think about... Think about um, cat wise, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about her. She had to start somewhere, you know, making these ridiculous looking elf coats. Mm hmm. Like True. sweater, sweater coats. You know, uh -huh. like, you don't see anybody wearing those. <laughs> yeah, I you know. But she that. had she had to find a group of people who she might think would be receptive to that. Yeah. And, um, you know, she probably went to a lot of festivals and that kind of thing and, you know, started just kind of showing people what she was doing, gaining yeah. interest. And, you know, on her page, she has over 100,000 people who like her page. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And, totally know, awesome. <laughs> and, she, and she did that from Etsy. Yeah. From Etsy. And she probably wow. toured around. She had a bit of a, like, hippie gypsy wagon that she would probably go around to festivals and stuff like that and sharing her coats and stuff like that with people. But, you know, yeah. she's, she really had a vision and a passion, and she just went for it, even though it was totally unconventional and totally weird. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's the way I am. I'm totally unconventional and weird, so that I fit in that <laughs> yeah, unconventional so, I mean, genre. <laughs> I totally think that there is a reality out there in which this has already been accomplished, and, you know, no it's just way. a matter of you just kind of stepping out into it. Into it. Oh, I like that. I know it to yeah. be true. I know it's true. I just have to... You know, and that's what the, um, I know. That's what this is. You know, helping guide me too, guide me into because that is where my heart is. Like truly, I mean, for now, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for now, because yeah. it's ever expanding. But for now, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. And Diaper cakes. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm the really first person I've ever met to be passionate that's about making diaper cakes. I know, that's a new right? one for me. What's so funny is I knew long, long ago, like when I was a kid, I was like, I, I'm going to grow up and do something with kids, I, with babies in particular. So thinking back on all the jobs that I had, I, I used to babysit all the time. And I was like, this isn't for me. <laughs> I'm supposed to do something with kids, but not this. And then I went to a daycare worker 
with little babies. I was like, okay, this is boring. This isn't for me either. And so, and then I went to a photographer in a studio for babies. I mean, I went through step after step trying to figure out what am I supposed to do with babies that I just feel so drawn to them. And not until I had a doors in did I realize what I love to do out of, you know, contrast of just sitting there so bored, you know, because I was not in the position that I could go out, you know, and do anything. Mm -hmm. And, um, so yeah, I was I knew long ago and once I came into that like full knowing as I sat there making it, I was like, wow. And the joy of like going to the store and buying it. it just, <laughs> yeah, just very passionate, you know, for that. And I did I tried to make a store, but I a couple of years ago, an Etsy store and things and it's just like this isn't working. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know how to get it out there to people, and I'm not confident enough, you know, at that time to get it out there to people. It's like um, well, that's really where it starts is you know mm -hmm. the confidence, because yeah. that's really how you can start doing anything is you have to be able to be comfortable talking about it. You yeah, have to be comfortable enough like sharing it with people like other store owners and being like, hey, you know, I have this really cool thing that I'm doing and I think it would really complement your store well. You want to partner, you want to collaborate, you know, yeah. it's built in collaboration yeah. and actually being able to make those networking connections, which is one cool thing that, you know, like the whole empower thing taught me was like, you know, the mm -hmm. whole idea of collaborating, making connections, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. That's important. You know, but you don't really need to do it in such a way that doesn't jive with you. Yeah. You can do it in a way that's totally jiving with you. And that's you what I'm talking connections, about. <laughs> go make the connections with the people that you want to make the connections with, you know, other, other diaper cake makers, other people who have baby shower shops or something mm -hmm. like that, you know. Like, there's people out there. Yeah, I totally need to hear that. <laughs> I totally need to hear that because I feel that. Like, I, I really do. And I just was like, no, this is what you have to do. But I totally need to hear that. <laughs> so that's actually, I have that action assignment for you right there. That's awesome. This next, this next week, I really want you to find an online store that does baby shower stuff. Okay. And send them some of your samples of, like, pictures and stuff. And be like, would you like to feature this in your shop? Ooh, that's perfect. And maybe, um, you know, split commissions or something like that. Or, you know, however you want to work out the monetary side of things. But um, I think that would be awesome for you. That would be awesome. <laughs> you know, and the, the really the most important part of this is being confident, not just in the talking to people, about it, but, but in, in your product, in my product, truly, yeah. that's where. Even though I was like, I was giving these away. I gave them away to every, everyone that I made. I gave away. I right? bet they loved them, didn't they? They did. But in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're gonna think this. They're gonna. Think, this isn't good enough. This, you know, like all these things. Like that's where, and that's why this is so important. You know, what we're doing here together is so important because it's building that confidence back and being okay, like knowing. And being confident that it's it's good, you know. I had a really big issue with that. Like nobody's gonna want I had that. The same thing with my paintings. <laughs> yeah. I had the same thing with my paintings. Wow. Same it's, thing. <laughs> this is this is great. I'm gonna do my assignment. You know, if you don't give it to me, then I'll be like, okay, I'm not gonna do it. But I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't do it if myself said to do it. You know. Well. I can be authority figure here and tell you That's go right. do your assignment. Go do it. <laughs> I have to and, do it, right? And don't just contact one. If you find multiple, contact multiple. You know. Okay. So yeah. just just keep keep rolling with it. I mean, because this is like if this is what you're passionate about and this is what your heart's calling you to do, you got to take action because God helps those who helps themselves. Ah, you're right. You're so right. And I'll do. That's. That's the answer to that other question. Totally. What, what do I keep putting as a block? Just not taking the action towards it at all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just be like, oh, there'll be another day. There'll be another time. I don't know how to do it. Where is it? I've got to write that over there. And everything is revealed to you in the doing. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, you're right. And I'm doing, man, that's, that feels so good because I've been wanting, I'm like, man, how do I do it? Just how do I get back in that mode? How do I get it out there? How do I pursue that thing that I love more than anything, you know, right now <laughs> for this moment? So that's, that's awesome. It is art, though. It really is. So I'm like, diaper cakes for me are like a whole, whole nother level than I guess they are for people that just make them for business. For me, it's like, so different. It's like a heart thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's so different. It's art for me. <laughs> so that's awesome. Thank you for that assignment. And here is where I'm going to write that. On here. Do it. I'm, I'm excited. Study the shops too. <laughs> really study the shops to really like feel them and you know to really see if this is where you feel comfortable but like you know even just sending out the emails just to see the confirmation and I wouldn't give them the price right up front either just you know like would you be interested would you, okay. get that, would you even get that you know mm -hmm. interesting see I, 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 that's one spot where I just kind of freeze and I'm like I don't, you know, before, like, if I was doing this on my own, I would just freeze there and be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say to these people or nothing. You know, I wouldn't even know to take that direction. You know what I mean? Like, I put a block immediately. Like, mm -hmm. you've got to do it all on your own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? How are you going to do it? <laughs> so that's so perfect. Okay. And... And I would really introduce yourself and just kind of share with them who you are and help them feel comfortable with you and, you know, like that kind of thing. And, like, just be your natural self. I mean. I can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially over these last two weeks. Ah, I can certainly do that. <laughs> that's so awesome. Well, that's, like, my big assignment for the week or my – favorite assignment, I think. <laughs> awesome. All right. I think I'm going to start today on that. That way I give myself plenty of time out because I would love to find more than one, you know, like you said, multiple mm -hmm. shops to contact and let me write this down. Awesome. That's, that's great. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm ready. And let's see. Then I'm ready to start my new week here too. Week seven. Woohoo! Recovering a sense of connection. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right. I think we're good. Too. This is awesome. Really good. It is very awesome. <laughs> totally awesome. Well, I'm ready to to do that. And is that, oh, that's an Empower Network message. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Are you still there? Okay, you are. here. I pressed on Catwise by accident. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, this, I got one question for you. Where did it go? Okay, here it is. Um... Uh -huh. Okay, it, it's the Marie Forel, for Forleo. Forleo, okay. Gotcha. Because all I've seen was the last, like a, a Wix template or something. So it's like a. The Wix is um, templates, like free templates for websites mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, gotcha. In case you're interested in looking oh, yeah. at seeing some of these things. <laughs> Easy to build sites. Um, yeah. Really easy. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, hmm? I was going to say, I love Wix. I actually was setting one up years ago, like when I first started my Dopper Cakes. Mm -hmm. But um, I was like, I, I just kind of let it go. Because <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't. I think it's time for you to do it again. <laughs> I do too. I, every time I see Wix, I'm like, oh, I love that thing. But, you know, I just, mm -hmm. it's really friendly. It's really, it like, really a very friendly, friendly um, website, template place. And now that it's back in my 
my vision here. <laughs> uh, I love how things come around full circle like that. Yeah, and I didn't yeah. even know that you were into it before, and I was just like, oh, my intuition is telling me I need to tell you about Wix. <laughs> I, do. I love Wix, I do. Oh, that's totally awesome. So I'm going to check this link here out. So she will be someone very good to listen to then. She's awesome. That's She's awesome. She's really awesome. Just, whoops. Yeah, good stuff. Um, some of her old archives about um, businesses and stuff um, in her YouTube videos. Like, mm -hmm. she's kind of like Abraham Hicks in a way. You just kind of want to keep watching her videos. Oh, yay. Just keep watching them. Because they're love just that. like, they're so good. They're just so good. That's awesome. And, uh, really informative and just really heartfelt and really funny, too. She has a really good, good sense of humor. So sweet. That's you know that yeah, means a lot to me. You know to to feel that connection like that. It really does. Mm -hmm. Like more than Tony totally does. Because <laughs> I can't. It's really hard for me yeah, with the other direction because mm -hmm. I don't feel that connection. So yeah, it makes it, it makes like it kind of being told to do stuff. Yes. <laughs> rather than it, like guided. Mm hmm it, it has a. It's. I think there. There's. I know that there is abundance in anything you do that you mm -hmm. put your heart to, you exactly. know. So I know that it's true. I know I don't have to take that route because it's not the only route. It's the good route for a lot of people. I know that. But for people who have a very certain particular vision that mm -hmm. they're looking to manifest, yeah. like you and me, uh -huh. it's very different because yes. we really need that room to be ourselves. Be ourselves. So very true. I feel that. And you know, I'm thinking maybe the whole reason that I was part of that and went there and, you know, you were part of that was so that we could have this moment here. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, I'm appreciating that contrast. I'm appreciating that contrast, too. Because <laughs> it really did help me shift and realize, like, what it was that was important to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I me needed too. that contrast to be able to see the direction that I really, really wanted really to go. Wanted to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. so true, definitely. And now you're here helping me, you know, guiding me towards the direction I really want to go. So it's a mutual, that really mutual is. thing. <laughs> very, very awesome. Very awesome. So... Well, my star pupil, do we have anything else to discuss? <laughs> I think you should get to bed. <laughs> it's past yeah, it's your about bedtime. 9.30, yes. Oh, um, wow. So, so it's late. Whoa. a whole hour, I think, past your bedtime. <laughs> I know, but it was worth it. I, I really needed awesome. to catch up with you the past two weeks. Yeah. I've been very full, <laughs> and, I, <gasps> and I really wanted to give you ample time. Too. Yeah. Well, I appreciate I appreciate all this. I'm very much enjoying it. Like, wow. I'm wowed. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get busy on my assignment. Sweet. Um, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, good night, sweet dreams. And good night. Feel feel fantastic when you wake up. <laughs> Yeah, as you slumber, but you know it's it's good to catch up with yourself. You know, take that little time to just let yourself unwind and feel the fullness of who you are and start sewing again. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's very cool. Yeah, very I'm really cool. excited about all of this. So. <laughs> yeah, and the red lipstick, I love that. That is yes. so cool. <laughs> but, all right, well, I'm gonna let you get to sleep. All right. And Take care, happy. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sleep well. <laughs> bye bye.